America's getting exactly what it wants this Christmas. The return of that man in the big red suit. I want to know what it is we walked into. It's Mountie Benton Frazier in the show that you asked for. An all-new New South, Friday. You take your job way too seriously. Jack Lemon, Gina Davis, Kathy Lee Gifford, Aaron Neville, Howard Stern, and more. This week on The Late Show with David Letterman. Now, your local news. I'm Jerome Gray, ahead on 11 News, cleaning up after a destructive storm sweeps through the Houston area. Thousands head for the Astrodome for what could be the Oilers' last game in Houston. And we'll have a report on the comeback of the whooping crane. I'm Sandra Jin. The hit parade, severe weather update. Join us for the news next. Joe! Wake up, Joe! Wake up! We need you! We're running way behind, and we need the comeback kid to get these gifts delivered on time. Get up! What do you say, Joe? Sure, but what can I do? Oh, what an arm! Nice one, Joe! No matter how they're delivered, the best gifts come from Mervyn's. This week, save 50% on fine jewelry, plus an extra 20% on diamonds and gemstones. Can I buy you some milk and cookies? Chevy First Team dealers talk about getting more with S10 regular. Have you taken a good look at the new S10? Sure, it's a well-built truck that's fun to drive. You get more for your money with the Chevy S10. Yeah, it's easy to maintain and looks great too. S10 is always ready for a good time. Hey, with Smart Buy, you can manage your payments and get the truck you want. Just $189 a month. That's a great deal. That's genuine Chevrolet. Genuine Chevrolet, Texas style. Only at your Chevy First Team dealer. From KHOU-TV Houston, the spirit of Texas, this is 11 News with Jerome Gray, Sandra Chin, Kathy Turner with weather, and Matt Musil on sports. 11 News at 10. Trees uprooted, tops of houses ripped off. Tornadoes and heavy rain sweep through the Houston area, leaving behind a lot of damage. Good evening. Severe weather continues to shake up residents of southeast Texas tonight. Thunderstorms hit the Houston area early this morning. Tornadoes touched down in several areas, causing damage to homes and businesses. Some of the worst damage was in northeast Houston, in Polk County. An aerial tour of Polk County shows widespread damage. Roofs peeled back, chimneys knocked over, trees splattered on houses. A lumber mill's boards scattered like matches. High winds knocked out power, keeping crews busy all day. There was just glass everywhere. It just The biggest window that went out was like three feet by four feet, and it, it chipped the table in the dining room. It, it just was sticking in the side of the table and doorways and back of the couch. He covered windows with plastic to protect his home from more storms headed his way. The Polk County Courthouse will need even more work the front was ripped open when winds toppled a tree. The heaviest part of the storm came in the wee hours between 3 and 5 Sunday morning. We had high winds coming real fast at us and golf ball size hail, heavy rain and heavy lightning. And all I seen was trees and everything just snapping and flying like paper. Here in Houston, crashing trees scared neighbors when they learned that the driver of a truck collided into an oak. The vehicle did not strike the tree. The tree struck the vehicle and landed on the roof. A grandmother was injured and taken to the hospital. Farther south, no serious injuries reported, but a lot of damage. In Bay City, a school trailer roof ripped off and blew into the school building. Well, we had a little twister that came through here probably about 8 o'clock this morning. He says it will take days to repair the school, but it was the noise that scared residents. It was like a freight train coming in. Residents are thankful no one was injured. Today's storms also caused widespread power outages. HLMP says 4,500 homes are still without power tonight. Now we may be in store for more severe weather tomorrow. Kathy Turner's here with the details. Kathy. We're going to start out by taking a look at what's happening across our area with a kind of regional view. This is, of course, Texas, our viewing area, Harris County. Look to the north and the west. Also, look well out to the west. What we're watching is an area of storms just west of San Antonio that is intensifying, and there is a new thunderstorm watch in effect until 5 o'clock this morning for the areas just south of San Antonio to just southeast of Longview. That really does not include our viewing area, although we still have a tornado watch in effect until 11 o'clock 
this evening and a flash flood watch for all of the eastern half of the state of Texas. We do have more rain on the way before it's all over. We'll get to that and a very interesting end to our week. Sandra Jerome. Okay, thanks a lot, Kathy. In other news, in the Astrodome today, the Houston Oilers played host to the New York Jets. It was their final home game of the year, and with all the negotiations still in progress with Tennessee, many fans felt this was the Oilers' finale in Houston. Jeff McShann reports. Uh, appropriate weather, I guess. <laughs> Indeed, it was a gloomy day. The weather was bad. It's a gut-wrencher. People were feeling...